Okay, so today I wanted to take a look at a couple of new features in Cloud Code. This is the status line configuration. We have the output styles. That is really cool that we're going to take a look at. Uh, but if you start on status line, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, but what I tried to make was this status line that kind of keeps uh, control of your context window. I thought this could be pretty useful. So you can see down here we have our model, we have our directory, our context small progress bar and we have kind of percentage filled up is this perfect i'm not sure yet uh, so you can see here on the model side if we switch to plan mode now you can see this switches to opus 4.1 right uh, so it is working but one thing i noticed with this uh, context thing here is that it kind of slows down cloud code at least it feels like it so i'm not sure if i'm going to use it so uh, i'm going to show you kind of how you can create your custom status line yourself so let's just do that uh, but if you want to try out my version here uh, i have added this to my github repo under status command here so if you want to try out kind of the version i have created uh, but for now let's just change up this let's remove this one and create a new one let's just clear this remove the context so let's see now if this uh, goes back to zero yeah perfect right so you can see we kind of reset and I want to change up the status line. So if we kind of look here now uh, in our status line configuration, it should be pretty easy. We can just do a slash status line. Uh, slash status line. And I want to kind of change it up a bit. So we can just click on that. So now we can uh, get some tools here to help us create this. Now you can see we kind of change up the context. We are at 23,000 instead of, yeah, what was it, like 100k, right? Uh, so I kind of want to configure this now. So I'm just going to tell Claude code to So let's try to change it up a bit. So I'm just going to let's change our status line remove the Context counter totally add in time and date in bright yellow. So this should hopefully kind of fix our um, Yeah performance issues here because it's kind of lagging a bit, but you can see it is working so you can see now we're going to modify the status line. We're going to add time date in bright yellow and we have like a status line setup agent. This is kind of what we are running here. So the agent is going to fix this for us. So we just need to provide the instructions we want. The agent is going to fix it, right? You can see we removed our context counter here now. Hopefully this is going to pop up with like a time and date. Perfect. And that should be it. And hopefully this fixes our... Um, yeah, performance issues here. You can see the time and date is perfect. Uh, now I'm going to restart Cloud Code just to get a fresh start. And hopefully this works pretty good. Yeah, this looks perfect, right? So now it seems much more responsive. So uh, I kind of want to move on to look at output style because I just think this is much more interesting. Uh, and I have some pretty cool stuff uh, lined up for this. Uh, you will kind of see how this works. So you can see uh, Cloud Code's default output style is uh, the existing system prompt designed to help you complete software engineering tasks efficiently. So uh, I kind of found it pretty interesting. If we go down here, we can kind of see the comparisons to related features, output style versus Cloud MD versus append system prompt. So kind of the first line here, output styles completely turn off parts of Cloud Code's default system prompt specific to software engineering. Neither Cloud MD or Append System Prompt edit Cloud's code default system prompt. So this is kind of powerful and as you will see, this has some big implications of how Cloud Code changes. So you can see you can think of output styles as stored system prompts and custom slash commands as stored prompts. So you will kind of see how powerful this could be if you have like a specific way you want to output uh, your cloud code. So um, I watched uh, a video on YouTube from Indie Dev Dan. He uh, wanted to do this HTML output style. And I thought it was pretty cool. So I kind of wanted to replicate that. And you can see this is in our cloud local. It's not global, at least not this one. We have a local output style HTML terminal. So the way we can use this now, if we go into this, so we have this format here, retro terminal HTML. Maybe I can zoom in a bit, close this. So uh, the description is going to be simple, readable, black and white retro terminal HTML output with a dark gray white uh, theme for optimal information consumption. And then we kind of have our instructions, how we're going to output this. Uh, and at the end, I added something file saving requirement. 
So we're going to use the write tool at the end of uh, each of these operations and we're going to save this to like an output.html file here. So this almost create like a UI for us or like a, yeah, uh, every time we run this. So the way we can use this is pretty cool. Uh, I have some MCP server set up here. I have my YouTube server, my transcript server and my Reddit server. So this means we can do some research. So uh, now you can see output style. I am in my default, uh, but I want to switch to my retro terminal output style, right? So when I do that, and now I can kind of do some research. So let me come up with a prompt here. So what I can do here now is I can say, uh, I want to create a simple guide to learn how to use cloud code output styles. Search YouTube for videos, transcribe the three best results, compile the context into a simple guide to use output styles. Include some embeddings if this fits. So when I run this now, and I have set my output style to this HTML format, uh, this is of course going to use our MCP server to do the research, right? Okay, so now you can see uh, we found a video here. So this is, uh, uh, yeah, in the dev dance video on Cloud Code Output Style. That is good. That is uh, what I was hoping for. We grab his transcript here uh, and we're going to turn that transcript into like some key information. We're going to create uh, a guide based on this content. Perfect. And we're going to save this as an HTML file. Uh, we don't really need to save it because remember, we already kind of have that instruction in our output style. So everything this agent now writes is gonna be kind of outputted and saved as an HTML file anyway. Uh, but it looks like Cloud Code is gonna include this in the plan here to on the to-do list anyway. Uh, but let this, let this run and let's see uh, what our guide is gonna be now in this HTML format. Okay, so now we have it, so we can just save this. So this is gonna be our terminal output, uh, cloud port styles, HTML file, right? Same as we have in our uh, output style definition. I can just go back to here. Yeah, we have the HTML file here. Let's open it in Finder and let's see. Perfect, so you can see uh, in the dev dance cloud code output style mastery, we have a source video here embedded. And if we go further down here, we can kind of zoom in a bit, right? Uh, I guess we can do it this way, right? And we kind of have our, some information here. So we have some quotes from him, right? The six output formats he likes, default table, YAML, text-to-speech, HTML. Uh, we kind of turn this into like a compendium here and everything we wanted. So that is pretty cool. We have some practical implement implementations and everything. So yeah, I think we did a pretty good job here. So uh, I recommend also go checking out this video. It's pretty good. This is kind of what gave me the idea here. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to this. So this is one thing we can use this output uh, style format for, right? Uh, but I want to do one more thing that is a bit more open and not so specific. So uh, yeah, I guess we don't have to clear this. So uh, let me do like a new instruction here. So now let's try to do something completely else. So let's move on to something else. The Path of Exile 2.03 patch, aka Season 3, is coming soon. I want an update on the rumors, leaks about 0.3. Use the YouTube MCP, Reddit MCP to find information and create a nice overview for me. So again, we're going to send out our primary agent here to do some research. And hopefully, again, we will get this in a compiled, compressed version. Uh, so I can dive into what the rumors are about the new Path of Exile 2 um patch that's coming in a couple of weeks so let's see so it's going to start searching on youtube then it's going to go to reddit gather all the info and compress it uh, you can see we are searching on a bunch of videos here uh yeah so i'm just gonna let it do its thing i want to see what it does on reddit here does it go to the poe to subreddit it's going to path of exile uh, yeah, but I'm just gonna let it cook here and let's see what we come back here. Yeah, it went to Pad of Exile 2. So yeah, I'm just gonna let this run and let's see what it comes back with when we have done all the research, compile this into our HTML output style and see what we can learn from the new patch here. Uh, okay, so we have the HTML file, so I'm just gonna yeah save that. 208 lines. So let's check it out. Uh, this one, right? Finder, 
HTML. Uh, let's see here now. Path of Exile, we can zoom in a bit. Uh, to the third addict update. So we have a bunch of information. You can see it's going to be 29th of August. The tribal team is confirmed music and atmosphere. We have a teaser trailer. We have two teaser trailers. Highly likely content. Act 4. Good. Yeah, this is very good. The druid class. League mechanics. Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> I can't believe we can do this so easily now. So instead of me having to go through all those videos, all those Reddit posts, I can just use this output style to compile everything here and just read this upcoming reveals. So we have an official announcement live stream, 22nd of August, that's cool. Daily teasers. We have a Twitch drop announcement so I can watch the videos right This is so good. Yeah, I can't really state this kind of changes like a bunch of things you can do with Cloud Code because like I said, I can generate information and put it out in a super nice format on the fly here. Uh, I don't really have to do anything else because we have already uh, given Cloud Code um, the instructions on how to do this up front. So, uh, and you can see I have added kind of my own touch to this. I wanted this in like a retro uh, format, uh, highly, a uh, good contrast, easy to read, right? So I'm super happy with this. Uh, so yeah, what can, else can I say? Definitely go try it out and start playing around with this. Uh, but I thought we could do one more output style before we end this video so you can kind of see how you can change this up. So let's do a simple one. Uh, and you can also see how powerful this becomes when we add in our MCP servers that can do all of this research, right? We can start adding in agents that can do more research. Uh, but let's let's do a, a, like a, a separate output style here. So um, we can just do copy this. We can do read and um, read this. And what we can do now is, um, so let's just keep it simple. So let's create a new uh, style called Markdown. This output style format should have a nice structured uh, Markdown format. Extensive use of bullet points. Compress all information to the bare minimum. Use the bash tool to save output as an MD file. So we're gonna do that. So let's create this output style. So Cloud Code now should uh, understand that this goes in uh, output styles. So uh, I'm gonna let Cloud Code create this style for us. We're gonna take a quick look at it, restart Cloud Code, resume, and then do the same um, Path of Excel 2 um, output style uh, in by using our new Markdown output style. So you can see now we created our Markdown.md output style, right? Perfect. So we can check it out here. And this is a clean structured Markdown output with extensive bullet points, compressed information, automatic MD file saving for maximum readability and portability. We have all our instructions here. We're not gonna go into specifics, uh, but you can see uh, that's fine. Okay. So I'm gonna restart this now, right? Uh, exit, Claude, slash, resume. Let's go back to here. And uh, now I'm gonna do output style, switch to our markdown style, uh, do the POE to uh, 0.3 guide again in the new output style. So let's see what happens now. Hopefully we can have this in context already. We don't have to do the research again. So we just wanna see how this is gonna look in our new style here. Okay, so that was done. So let's see now. So if I go here, yeah, we have a markdown output here. This looks pretty good. So let's preview this. I'm just gonna go uh, open preview. So remove this. And yeah, you can see we have this in markdown now. Perfect. So this is another take we can do. It's pretty easy and it looks very compressed. We have the timeline, Twitch drops. We don't have videos here. We said we didn't need that. And yeah. Perfect. So you can see how easy it is to kind of change up the markdown style if you wanted to. So yeah, definitely go check out the output styles. I'm gonna put um, 
my output style here, um, the HTML terminal one. Let me just, uh, yeah, I can just grab that, right? HTML uh, terminal, and I can just move this to the repo if you want to try it out. And to track. So yeah, this is just super cool, and I'm definitely gonna play uh, more around with this. So definitely go check out output style if you're using Claude code. I think it could be very helpful. So I can just go to the repo here. Uh, I can just put in the marked HTML markdown style if you want to try it out. So let's just commit this and I'm going to leave this repo in um, the link in the description. You can find the status line command bash here if you wanted to. The one where we count the tokens and you can try out this HTML terminal output style if you want to. So yeah, I'm going to leave that link in the description. So pretty cool. Pretty exciting, uh, there's much more to explore, but for now, uh, I think I really enjoyed this too, but there's more things we need to discover. So yeah, hope this gave you some inspiration and you go try it out. Thank you for tuning in, have a great day and I'll see you again very soon.